folks, this is always a pleasure for me. Because my first guest tonight is a co-anchor of CBS This Morning who made news this week with her interview of R. Kelly. Please welcome back to The Late Show, our friend, Gail King. <laughs> Colbert, thanks for being here. You had uh, the CBS this morning had had a uh, uh, you had a very big week and oh the show gosh, had a very big yeah. week. The show Everybody's talking week. about um, uh, even many of your colleagues. We had Willie Geist here the other night. He was like all hail Gail Aww. because you uh, you had this an amazing interview with R. Kelly. Yes. Can I just tell you what happened to me backstage? Just in now? the green room, Elton John called me. In the green room, I pick up the phone. In the green, I pick up the phone. It was a 212 number I didn't recognize, but I thought it was work, because we're working on a special, so I thought it was work. He goes, Gail, it's Elton here. I went, Elton John? <laughs> Hi, Elton. He said, and he was calling to talk about the R. Kelly interview. I thought wow. that was so nice that he called. That is so nice. Yeah, just he, now. He calls a lot of my guests. He calls <laughs> Let me just adjust your, you might have adjust your, your heart there. Yeah. I'm going to put that over like so. Just where, where, there Thank we go. You. Now we're, now Stephen we're centered. Stephen Colbert stylus. I like there you it. go. That's what I do. I provide that for my guests. I like it. I like it. Now, did you have any idea? Oh, my gosh. Had Steven. you met R. Kelly before? No, you know, I met him five years ago at a birthday party. So it's one of those things where you say, hi, hi, hi. And I didn't want to be that guy that said, you know, we met five years ago. Sure. So I had no relationship with him. No. And you had no sense of what, like, no. the energy, what to no. expect in this interview. You know what? I did go to see him, like, 15 minutes before the interview. I went to his apartment at Trump Tower. It's no secret that that's where he lives. So I went 15 He lives in Trump Tower? Trump Tower in Chicago, yes. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. in Chicago. All right. So I went 15 minutes before just to say hi. You know, thank you so much for doing this. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to hear what you have to say and let you tell your story. He was sitting in sweatpants. He's got a Christmas tree up in the house so that, he, that he keeps up. He's had the Christmas tree up, guys, since 1993 as a tribute to his mother. He loves his mother. It was her favorite holiday. She passed away, and he's had it up. So it was very hot. He was resting his voice. So he's sitting in sweatpants, and I just said, you know, I didn't, you know, we're here to hear your story. He goes, well, I'm, you know, I'm ready to talk. I'm going to change, because he had on sweats. I'm going to put on a suit. I go, you're going to put on a suit? Yep, I'm going to put on a suit, and I'll be down. And that was the only... It's because I didn't want him to, the first time to sit with him, it's lights, camera, action. You know, it's like you walk sure. in, there's four cameras, there's lots of lights. Right. I didn't want it to be like that. So you didn't I want did him go. to be uncomfortable. He wanted some kind of relationship. Yeah, I did. I wanted to at least have said hello. Well, um, he, so he did put that. on a suit. Yes. But he just about busted out of it. Here is a shot <laughs> yes. that has gone viral. That's you and R. Kelly right there. Yes. He is giving a speech to the multitudes, and you are absolutely, everyone is marveling, including myself, at your composure in well, this moment. What's going through your mind in this moment? Because you look like a, just a graven image from no, a temple you know, or something. This is the thing. I could see him getting more heated. He was upset with me about some of the questions. That's okay. He was a little irritated. That's okay. You know, the, the picture was taken by my makeup guy, who, as you see, is a really good photographer. I didn't even know he was in the room taking pictures. So we're sitting there, and Lazarus is snapping away. He took 800 pictures that night. Think about that. So when I see Robert getting really upset, and he stands out of his seat, my initial reaction is, oh, God, please don't leave, please don't leave, please don't leave. Mm -hmm. Because I really thought, we've seen him storm out of interviews before. So I thought he was going to do that. And I was thinking, I'm not done with my questions. What can I do to save this interview? So I decided if I sit there quietly, make eye contact with him, I thought the minute I walk up and say, if I stood up, like, calm down. You know what it's like when you're upset and somebody says, calm down? You go, I am calm! I figured that that would make it even worse. So I thought if I just sit there quietly, looking at him, he would know I'm not going anywhere, and I'll just wait for you to finish whatever this is, and then you'll sit back down in the seat. Well, we have and a clip he here. That. We have a clip here, a uh, little bit of, of what it was in that moment. Uh, Jim? Is this camera on me? <laughs> Yo, kill me with this <laughs> I can't help 30 years of my <laughs> Robert. <laughs> that Robert yeah. is now I, is instantly I legendary. Know. Robert. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everybody who freaks out at anybody from now on out. No, if anybody if anybody yells at me, I, anybody yells at me for the next year, I'm just gonna go, Robert. No. Well, Stephen, I thought if we had both gotten 
emotional and amped up like that, what good would come of that? So I thought, I'll just be calm, say his name. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when somebody says your name, it is soothing. I'll say his name, he'll know that I'm here, and he will eventually sit back down, which he did, which he did. Were you at any moment uh, 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 af Afraid? Uh, worried about your safety? You know, listen, I never thought that he was going to hurt me or hit me. I never, ever thought that. What I was worried about is that he was, he was flailing so and hitting his fist so violently. I was worried that he would accidentally hit me. But I never thought that he wanted to hurt me in any way. And I don't want to accidentally get hit either, guys. I didn't want that. <laughs> So, uh, not so at all. I was, not at all. I was worried about that. But did I think that he was going to hurt me? No, I really didn't. So I wasn't afraid about that. If you could have seen the thought bubble, it would have been, "Ruh roh, please sit back down. You're looking a little crazy right now. Please mm -hmm. sit back down." That's what, what I was thinking. What about your, your family, your friends? Oh yeah, Must have... my favorite daughter Kirby, favorite son Will. Oprah called because they thought, you know, we were very, very worried. Because I guess when you look at that picture, it is very menacing. It is. It, it is. It, it, it is it, very it, menacing. It, it is. Yes. But no, I, w I really wasn't worried. I really wasn't worried. Mom, uh, I, I admire your composure and oh. your focus. I, I get rattled, you know, oh, at the drop you. of a hat. You're rattling you. me. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now, you've gotten a lot of props for this. A lot, you've got a lot of praise for this across the board from fellow journalists as well. Um, were you happy to hear that uh, Fox News' Jesse Waters... Oh, my gosh. ...gave you props... Oh, my gosh, Stephen. ...for this interview I after that this. Jussie Smollett you interview <laughs> yes, you did. I know. Yeah. So, he mistook you... Yes, for Robin Roberts. Yes. Yes. Now, you know what's good? This, this, this... Somebody... People started sending this to me because I normally don't watch Fox News unless I'm just curious to see what's going on, what, what other people are thinking. So I was sent this... And uh, Dana stood up for me and said, uh, that wasn't uh, Robin Roberts, that was Gail King. So I emailed Dana, who I don't know. I got her email and I said, hi, just wanted to thank you for letting your colleague know that Robin Roberts and I was a great compliment, but thank you for letting him know that we're two different people. And could you let your rest of your colleagues know that all black people do not look alike? <laughs> could you please just share that? Yes, I did. I sent that to her. Hi. It's good to know. You know, it's, it's good to remind. And it's Dana good to remind said, them every it's so, so often. nice to meet you. Yes. Is that what he wrote back? No, so nice to meet you. Yeah, Dana said, listen, you know, uh, yeah, we had a little joke about it. And I hope to meet her one day because I thought that that was very nice of her to do. Oh. Because the guy just said, Robin Roberts, Gail King. You know, I just thought, okay. All right, dude. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's so, not okay, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Um, we have to take a little bit of a break. Okay. Uh, if you can stick around, please you stick around because we have a clip from tomorrow night's special of the interview with Gail and R. Kelly uh, that you don't want to miss. We'll be right back.